Hey, how's it going everyone? Ryan here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Acorn. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Good to see you all again. Hope you all are having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, evening, whenever it is that you are watching this video. Uh, yeah, welcome back to Acorn. And as you can see on the island, and I guess possibly by the title of this video, Acorn has now finally achieved a three-star rating. For those that have been keeping up with the channel for the last few weeks, uh, you may have noticed, and I've I've mentioned a few times that one of the things that I was trying to do was to get Acorn to a three-star island as soon as possible. And the reason, or rather the way that I was doing that was I was putting out a ton of mannequins using just a very basic custom design. Uh, for those that don't know, if you just put a ton of mannequins down with a very basic design as uh, like this, and then uh, what this does is it counts towards points for your overall island rating. Uh, at the end of it all, when you are done, just simply go into the custom design pattern, change the design. Just one little pixel on the design uh, will do it just enough. And what this will do is it will make it so that every mannequin that had the previous design, as you can see here, now no longer exists because it doesn't recognize the pattern that it previously tried to have on. So it's no longer there. So. As you can see by the island, I know that a lot of people might struggle with getting three-star islands every now and again, but I think that when you really look at what I've done on this island, which is essentially nothing, you can see that getting a three-star island... Hello, Fauna. I'm going to talk to you later. <laughs> that might be a move out. Uh, but you can see that it doesn't take very much to get to a three-star island. So for anybody that is struggling with three-star islands, uh, the only thing that I would recommend that you do is to accumulate all of your 10 villagers that you need on your island. Uh, you don't have to place any more bridges than just the first one that gets placed, but you do need to place a ton of flowers down. And then I would say just place a ton of mannequins down. Uh, beyond that, 10 villagers, tons of flowers, mannequins. You should hopefully get to a three-star island pretty easily. Uh, it, and you also want to make sure that your clutter is good too. But uh, yeah, that, that is basically the update on Acorn. So what are we doing today? What am I doing in this video? Well, today I am going to go see about unlocking terraforming. I've been talking about terraforming on this island for a while now. Good morning, Henry. And I'm going to be just picking up the terraforming kind of thing that I need in order for me to be able to start flattening this island down. And I think I want to get to a point where once it's flat enough, I can get a good idea as to where exactly I want the houses, how exactly I want this island to be designed. And we still don't have access to Able Sisters just quite yet, so there's no way that we can do custom designs. I have thought about going back and doing the path on on this particular uh, island as well too although the regular pathing that is provided in the game is not that bad either i completely forgot just how expensive everything is so what i'm gonna do is a lot easier for me to remove the cliffs or rather it's more productive right now to move the cliffs and not the rivers although there is one river that is basically a waterfall in the northeast corner of the map but we'll start on the flattening i've already gone through the kk uh, the KK concert, so no reason to see the three-star, uh, concert that happens there. So yeah, I, I'm just gonna be basically flattening out certain parts of my island while I prepare for the upcoming flattening. And, uh, yeah, I moved a ton of trees over here, not entirely sure why. I think in some capacity I wanted to, uh, save them for later, but they're here now. Uh, what I wanted to do while I was doing this as well was I kind of miss doing these types of videos where I have I, I kind of just an activity of Animal Crossing going on in the background and me kind of talking about something. So I'm going to kind of touch on something that, uh, people have been asking me as of late. Uh, for those that don't know, I stream this game every now and again over on Twitch. Uh, I've, I've been streaming once a week just to kind of get back into the whole groove of doing things. Uh, and as I stream back over there, uh, one of the things that I've been asked quite recently and pretty uh, I would say almost like on schedule every time I play this game is how do you how do you deal with maybe not experiencing the same wonder slash joy that you felt the first time that you played this game uh, as you can see on this island like I've said before there's absolutely nothing on it and with how long this game has been out there are a lot of people that would suspect that this is a very very difficult place to get back to a completely barren island and then just being expected to terraform uh, from the ground up. And 
I guess the overall answer to that question, for anybody that's wondering about restarting, or maybe you have restarted with me and you're kind of wondering about motivation, maybe maybe something that you're dealing with right now too is the motivation to do your own island and you've already restarted. And from my perspective, just from me, I can tell you that unfortunately, the <laughs> the wonder and joy that, uh, <clears throat> wow, really? <laughs> The wonder and joy that comes from this game that people have been asking me about and the wonder and joy that I know that people are are wondering about, unfortunately, and, and I, I, I feel like people are going to maybe not like this answer, and maybe you're someone who this answer doesn't apply to you, but unfortunately for me and for many others, uh, this is just one of those things where the wonder slash joy doesn't ever really come back. Uh, one thing that I think people need to uh, remember uh, is that this game, when it first came out, it it was, you know, you want to talk about being barren. This game for 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 most for most of us was pretty barren. It felt pretty barren at the time. Yeah, we could terraform and yeah, we could do all this stuff and we could design with the items they were giving us. But at the time, I mean, not many people were doing custom design codes like the path that wasn't really prominent at the time. It was just kind of uh, little miscellaneous designs on the island every now and again. Obviously, the Animal Crossing New Horizons community has changed and evolved since then. People are doing crazier things with their designs, not only on custom designs, but also just on their overall island design, too. Uh, and so with that in mind, you know, going speaking on the... Oh my goodness, why can't I get this right? <laughs> speaking on, again, the whole fact that this game has been out for a while and people are doing crazier and new things. You know, this is also during a time when we were all basically kind of scientists. I don't know how many people were were doing this like I was, but when this game first came out, one of the things that I wanted to do first and foremost was figure out all the cool things that we could do. Uh, one, because I wanted to make videos and let everyone else know how to do them too, of course. But the biggest thing was there, there appeared to be a lot of <laughs> science in this game. Animal Crossing is not unknown for being scientific, for lack of a better term, I guess. And what I mean is, with the different things that you can do in this game, with things like flower breeding, bug locations, bug spawning, and of course, trying to dupe the game into doing something that you wanted to do, uh, such as, you know, getting certain bugs to spawn. There are little glitches that you can do or tricks that you can do in order to flatten out mystery islands in order to farm scorpions, for example. I don't know how many people remember scorpion farming back, back in the day, but yeah, when you when you think about a lot of the things that we were doing back when this game first came out, uh, scorpion farming, I, I remember uh, getting the frying pan at the cutting board. I remember the cutting board was such a hot commodity when people were finding that on their island as well, too. So don't get me wrong, you know, as much as I would love to recapture the magic that is Animal Crossing New Horizons and going through it again for the very first time, you just unfortunately cannot, you can't just get rid of and forget things like, you know, your memory. <laughs> you know, it's not like eternal sunshine of the spotless mind over here. It's uh, it's unfortunately something that we, uh, we're kind of stuck with now. And so I think that's a proper reference there. If it's not, let me know. I haven't seen the movie. I know about the movie. I love Jim Carrey, but <laughs> it's, uh, I heard it's not a funny movie. So I don't really, uh, I don't really, I don't really watch movies that aren't very funny. I, I like I like spending my time laughing as much as possible. <laughs> um, but yeah, so w there's too much information out there. I mean, the Wikipedia page is just now at this point full of advice and tips and tricks. And I mean, even just doing what I did now with the Three Star Island is kind of an exemplification of what the wonder and joy being removed from this game is all about. All I did was simply place a ton of mannequins down and they were said they basically said this island is good enough to move people in. Uh, since I'm on this little rant as well, too, I might as well go ahead and go a little bit deeper. Uh, it's very strange to me that the credits for this game appear after you get a three-star island. Uh, like I said earlier, when I was streaming, people would ask me questions about this game. And one thing that I, that I noticed or, or heard was that after three stars, people generally tended to be done with this game. And as someone who just recently re-experienced the three-star uh, KK concert and credit scene. Admittedly, I'm a bit confused. For me, if I didn't have any other desire to play this game, and if I didn't, if I wasn't trying to, you know, play the system by trying to do things like what I was doing with the mannequins, sure, my island would probably look pretty decent by now. I'd probably have a lot more furniture out, and uh, 
it would be it would a little make a little bit more sense that this island is three stars but given the fact that there's nothing on it and the game still calls the three stars yeah it's very strange i have to admit how do i get <laughs> how do i get back to the shovel for terraforming i am completely lost here i have not done this in so long apparently oh that's right it's a it's the plus button in the upper right okay oh man that's how long it's been <laughs> uh but yeah i know there's no you know i haven't placed out any of the items the villagers they give you items when they find out that you are going to be trying to get the island to a three-star rating they want you to place the items down that they give you to try and enhance the items feature or the island's features and it just when you break down how the game really works and you find out that that's not absolutely necessary yeah i would say that in some capacity it does kind of break that kind of necessity to keep going and if you are someone who just kind of played the game for a little bit got to a three-star island and then did nothing further than that to be completely honest with you it almost kind of seems like that was maybe their whole goal it almost seems like with how they made the system they assumed that maybe once you got to a decently decorated island that was a pretty good point for them to say hey you did a pretty good job this island is not bad and, and you know in the beginning there wasn't all this terraforming that we all do now I, I think i think nowadays honestly there's a lot of like it almost seems like maybe too much terraforming i say as i'm now terraforming my whole island but <laughs> for those that have maybe struggled with comparing your island to other islands especially in regards to their waterscaping or terraforming you may feel exactly the same way or you may feel exactly what i'm talking about there but uh yeah so they assume probably that with the furniture that they give you and, and all that good stuff that by the time the credits start rolling in the KK concert, that your island is good enough and that anything beyond that is is just kind of an extra. And to be completely honest, <laughs> if I played this game, I would say correctly, which is, again, to say that I actually decorated day to day and didn't try to game the system to get a three-star island yeah i would say the game the, the my island would probably look decent enough to the point where i would maybe feel like you know not really doing anything further but as it stands yeah let's swing back around to the wonder question if you're someone who's restarting this game hoping to recapture the magic if you were able to do that i applaud you very much so because it is something that i wish that i could recapture but as it stands i have been you know trying to play this game uh, every every few days or every day again like before and it's just I, back then as well too I mean we had all the time in the world so here it's I will say though it is nicer to feel a little bit liberated from the pressure of having to be up to date up to par or up to kind of like the information as to what's being given out there I like the fact that all the information is now finally out there, so anybody who is thinking about starting over it doesn't feel like they're missing out on anything. They know exactly what they're getting themselves into, and especially if you're really heavy into island designing, you now know exactly what the game has to offer as well, too. And so you can manip you know, manipulate, but you can kind of plan your island designing or what you plan on doing on that day around what we already know and especially given the fact that they have come out and said basically that this game is never going to be updated ever again and not necessarily ever again i i, I miss misspeak they said that there was going to be no more major updates for this game now since that announcement last year we haven't had any minor I, minor updates to this game uh i mean today as of recording of this video today we had an update but it was really just to fix some minor bug fixes and you know, I, I think that for a long time, we're going to have to live with the fact that that is going to be the announcement excitement that is going to be it for us for Animal Crossing for a while. I still miss back in the days of getting new announcements like when Swimming was first announced or when uh, Rover's Mayday Maze was first announced. Those were still great times. And those are the things, again, that, that also lend themselves to not being able to recapture the joy or wonder of this game. I don't know how many of you all miss waking up at like <laughs> what like the the most ungodliest hours 5 6 a.m to check nintendo's uh at least for here in the united states to check nintendo's youtube page to see if the next update trailer had uh had been had been posted and and that also again just kind of fed itself to making the game feel like uh there was more going on to it at a time it was it was definitely more of a global phenomenon at the time 
And of course, it's been a couple of years. The people who are enjoying this game still are absolutely still enjoying it. But the people who felt like they got the island designing, you know, bug out. And that was good. That was good enough. That's it. And that's good for them. And that's awesome. But I am myself excited to re-experience this game. I admittedly am kind of tired of having games that I like just kind of sitting <laughs> and gathering dust. Uh, at this point, really, I've grown so unattached to things that like physical things or, or things that are kind of nonsensical that at this point, if I wasn't going to play this game anymore, I probably would have just sold it. Like I beat Spider-Man again for the second time and I basically just ended up selling that finally because even though I love the idea of having a collection of video games, uh, eventually it's just got to go make room for for more things. Well, as you all know, and as you all can see, uh, the process of terraforming this whole island down is going to be, well, it's going to be kind of a process. I still need to eat all this fruit. I still need to get rid of all these trees. I still need to, I still need to terraform these cliffs down. Uh, but certainly I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do that at all in this video. I think you all know exactly what's expected to happen here. Uh, by the time I come back to Acorn on the YouTube channel, I should hopefully have a completely flattened island. But before I go, I wanted to check out something, uh, because it might go into what I'm about to say. What I'm about to say is, if you want to come and hang out while I flatten this island, be sure to follow me over on Twitch. I still am planning on doing content over here on YouTube. Uh, I actually plan on doing some more uh, content for members. I want to do some monthly member videos uh, and so or, or live streams. I can't haven't quite figured out exactly which one I want to do yet. If anything, it'll definitely be videos that people who are members can can resubscribe to and, and rewatch again if it's if there's a member video that they really enjoyed watching. I guess Fauna wasn't going to ask to move out. Unfortunately, that is OK. I was going to simply say, is that a black rose? That's awesome. I was simply going to say that uh, I am planning on doing some villager hunts over on Twitch uh, and then posting the the results of those vi villager hunts over here on YouTube. But I also do plan on doing maybe one or two villager hunts over here on YouTube as well, too, just to kind of hang out with you all. So uh, if you are new to my channel and want to participate in those or see those videos when they come out, please be sure to uh, subscribe and turn notifications on. And as I said before, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Uh, I forget sometimes how slow and monotonous and tedious the whole process is in the beginning. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it pretty much is. And and I know what I'm going to be spending the rest of, well, the next maybe hour or so doing. So I'm going to be doing that. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out and checking in on the channel. I always do appreciate it. Acorn being a three-star island is awesome. I haven't quite fully decided if a five-star island is in the works for Acorn. Oops. Uh, I personally don't really think five-star islands matter all that much. I think getting a golden watering can is awesome. But honestly, I think that there are a lot of awesome-looking one-star islands that could potentially be five-star islands. It's just kind of the preference of uh, how I've been playing this game lately. But everybody, that has been my very long Ryan rants and rambles on for like 15 minutes about something that I wanted to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this in your future, or in your future, I keep saying that like a prophet. If you want more videos like this in your feed in the future, be sure to like the video, subscribe and turn notifications on. It always helps. Thank you all so much for your support on the channel lately. I really appreciate it. And uh, until next time, folks, whether it be on this Twitch live, on whatever Twitch live streams or YouTube videos or YouTube live streams, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, week. Have a good one. I'll see you all in the next video stream or stream. <laughs> have a good one, everybody. Take care. Bye now.